and welcome back to Googie's Kitchen and if you are new here then hello and welcome my name's Alexis and today I want to show you how to make my red pepper and sweet potato chickpea muffins as I just mentioned today I want to show you how to make these delicious muffins these are really easy to do and they are great as a breakfast I normally have them with breakfast but I have had them with soup and I've also had them with a curry as well. I thought these would be great for the start of the new year. If you're looking to start a healthy eating then these are great. They are a great to go food as well so if you work and you wanted to take these with you then you could. All you have to do is like make them at the weekend then store them in the freezer, take them out the night before and you've got breakfast ready to go with you in the morning. So, as I'm making these for my breakfast, I thought I'd share this recipe with you today. So, to make these muffins, I have in this bowl um, 200 grams of chickpea flour. If you don't like chickpea flour, then you could use an alternative flour. If you're not allergic to gluten, then you could use spelt flour, wholemeal spelt flour, or maybe even buckwheat for these muffins as well. Um, but I actually quite like these as chickpea flour, so I like to stick with that. And then I've got in this bowl one teaspoon of baking powder and one teaspoon of dried mixed herbs. And I'm going to mix these two ingredients together, like so. And then in this frying pan, I have one spring onion topped and tailed and chopped about half a centimetre thick pieces and then I also have one red pepper and I've removed the core and I sliced and diced it um, and I'm going to add this into the chickpea flour now. Oh I fried these for a good five minutes in a frying pan um, on a high heat so I waited until they sort of softened and then I removed them from the heat and I've left them as cool. So I thought I would add these in now. I'll just add those in. And then I'm going to mix that all round as well. And then I have in this Nutribullet cup my egg type consistency. So these are vegan muffins. So to get an egg type consistency, I've used um, almond butter. So what I did was I peeled and chopped one sweet potato, like about 200 grams it was. So I peeled and I chopped it. And then I put a small saucepan on a high heat and I added a bit of water to that, boiled water, and I let it come to the boil. And then I put the pieces of sweet potato into the colander and I steamed them for a good 10 to 15 minutes, maybe 20 I think. Um, and then I removed them from the heat and I left it to cool. And after that, I then put the pieces of sweet potato into a Nutribullet cup and I also added almond butter. So that made it like an egg consistency. And I also added some oat milk as well. You don't have to add oat milk. You can add any type of milk of your choice. I just like to use oat milk. So I added that and then I blended all of those ingredients together until I got this consistency. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this to my flour mixture in this bowl. And I'm going to mix these ingredients together. Um, I normally have this as a breakfast muffin. So although it's vegan, I'm not a vegan, I still love egg, which is why I've never, give, never become a vegan because I couldn't give up egg. But yeah, so I have this with like a poached egg on top or some scrambled egg. Um, I also have it with a sliced avocado as well. It's delicious. And tomorrow morning, I'm going to be having one of these with some homemade baked beans. And the recipes for my homemade baked beans, I will link in the description box below for you. I've done videos on those as well, so please go check them out. Um, and now all I'm going to do is mix all of these together. So I have a blog called Googie's Kitchen Life. And on that blog, I have over 650 recipes. So if you like this recipe and you'd like more, then please go check it out. There's all sorts on there as well. There's vegan recipes on there. 
there's meat eater recipes, there's cakes and biscuits, there's everything you could wish for, I'm sure. Um, I think this is quite a thick mixture, so I'm going to go and get a bit of milk and add a bit of get the remnants out of the bottom of my cup. I'm going to add some milk to the cup and then I'm going to screw the lid back on like so and I'm just going to shake this cup just to see if I can get the stuff off the sides and off the lid as well. Yeah, I've got quite a lot off, so I'm going to add this in now. I may need a bit more milk, I'm not sure, but I'll just add that in to see. You want quite a runny consistency for these muffins. It's got to be like a cake mix, basically. So, and these are delicious, not just for breakfast as well. They're also yummy with soup or as part of a curry as well. Um, they're also really handy to take with you as well. So if you work in an office and you wanted something nice for breakfast, then these are it. These are really great. You can transfer these anywhere. So I'm just gonna mix all of this together now. It's become much more like a cake mixture, as you can see. I'm just gonna end, add the last of that milk in there. Um, yeah, it's much more like a cake mixture now, so that's the consistency you want. So please add a bit more milk. I've obviously got that wrong in the recipe, but there you go, I'm a human. And now I'm going to add two teaspoons of maple syrup to this. As it's savoury, you don't want too much sugar, but a little bit is okay, because you still want that sweetness. Um, and maple syrup is a great uh, sugar to have as well in the house. It's much healthier for you than processed and refined sugars, but it is still a sugar, so do be careful with it. Um, and then I'm going to add a big pinch of salt to this as well. And I'm also going to add a bit of pepper. And obviously, add salt and pepper to your taste. If you like a lot more salt than me, then please add it. And I'm just going to continue mixing this now. And then I'll show you what I'm going to do next. So while the oven was preheating, I oiled a uh, muffin tin. So I've got a six tray muffin tin here and I've oiled it and I put it in the oven while the oven was preheating so that when I put this, the um, muffin mixture into the base of the tin, it starts cooking immediately and hopefully you'll get a lovely rise on that as well. So what I'm gonna do is just ladle out the muffin mixture into the tins, like so. As evenly as I can. And then I'll put this back into the oven for about, uh, Five to 30 minutes until they go golden brown on top and they've risen as well. So yes, I've managed to make five muffins out of that. So I'm going to put these into the oven now. So the muffins were in the oven for about 25 minutes and they've gone a lovely golden brown colour now. So they are definitely cooked. Um, I'm just going to get a skewer and make sure they're cooked in the centre though. So if I put the skewer in and it comes out clean, yep. They're definitely cooked. So I'm gonna take these out of the oven now and I'm gonna leave them to cool. So I'm just gonna get a palette knife and I'm just gonna loosen the muffin from the inside of the tray. So I've left these to cool for a good five minutes before I started doing this. And I find that if I just loosen the muffin, it comes away easier. So I just get like a little palette knife and I just slide it around the outside of the muffin in the tray and then it just comes out really easily. After I turn the camera off as well, I managed to get six muffins, so I was really pleased. I've got a little one here which will be nice for an afternoon snack at some point. So yes, I've actually got five and a little one. So I'm going to leave these to cool and then I shall put them into 
freezer bags and store them in the freezer until I want to eat them. So that's how you make my red pepper and sweet potato chickpea muffins and as I said I'm going to be having one of these for breakfast tomorrow with some avocado, some mashed up avocado and some homemade baked beans and again the recipe for my homemade baked beans I will link in the description box below for you and I'll also link this recipe in the description box below too. So I'm really looking forward to breakfast tomorrow um, but for now that's it from me thank you so much for watching please feel free to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and please feel free to leave any comments below and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button see you all soon bye